Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh 5D Status Accelerator. In the last part, we uh, completed the last two um, duel puzzles, as well as meeting Blister, who is apparently currently uh, in the process of um, of figuring out a plan to get me into the um, impound s into the sector security impound center. So. While we're waiting, we're going around and talking to all the people that we uh, that we can. We're going to do some do some structure decks, Stru structure deck dueling. So, um, in case you weren't paying attention when we first talked to Nico here, um, the structure decks are like fixed decks that are st like structured around a certain type or attribute. So, for example, Dragon's Roar here is a dragon attribute deck, which is fairly, fairly similar to mine, as you might imagine. Um, uh, zombie Madness is a zombie deck, etc., etc. So, and wh how this is going to work is the structure, the structure deck. Uh, uh, me and Nico will both pick a structure deck. He'll pick his randomly. I'll be going in order, and we'll duel. If I win, if 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 I believe it's that if I win with all of them, he'll give me one for free. He'll give me one of these for free, whereas uh, and then I can buy the rest of them or something like that. I think. I think it's something like that. So until, well, until we beat them all, I'm I'm just gonna go through all of them one at a time and show them off. Starting with Dragon's Roar versus the Un Invincible Fortress deck. So, let's get going, shall we? The Dragon's Raw Structure Deck. Structure Duel. This is a, uh, a fairly... Th this, this is a, a, a fixture of all of the World Championship Duelist... Uh, World Championship... You go World Championship d video games. Are these Structure Duels. Though usually they appear fairly early on, rather than... Uh, like, halfway through the game or so, like this. So I've started fairly poorly, I think. This is a fairly poor starting hand. I'll play Mask Dragon in defense mode and Dragon's Rage. And I guess Curse of Anubis as well, because why not? And then my turn. So Dragon's, Ra Dragon's Rage here has all the standard dragons. Mask Dragon, uh, Reckless Greed, interesting. So, um has all, all of the standard dragon monsters. Mask Dragon, uh, Luster Dragon, I believe it's got... Damn it. Medusa. Frickin' Medusa Worm. You're a jerk. Um, I can't... Yeah, this is useless. Nah. I'll just take the hit. It doesn't matter that much. It's only 500 points. Yeah, um... You get your standard dragons and dragon support cards like Dragon's Rage. Also, it's Dragon Raw. That's the uh, name of the deck. I derped. I derped on that. Okay, so now that I know it's a Medusa Worm, I can do something about it by attacking it, basically. Draw. Robin Goblin, huh? I summon Twin Headed Behemoth in attack mode. Then, I'll activate Dragon's Rage. When Dragon's Rage is on the field, I deal piercing damage to you. Twin-Headed Behemoth! Attack that Medusa Worm in the, in the, the center card. Medusa Worm's defense is only 600, so I deal piercing damage of 900 points of damage to you. And also, your effect doesn't work, because it isn't actually an official flip effect. So, I end my turn with that. That's pretty good. He's probably going to have another one on the field, I imagine. That other one's probably... Or a Golem Sentry, that's another possibility as well. It returns it to my hand. That's kind of annoying. It's not that bad, but it is kind of annoying. I will activate Curse of Anubis! Curse of Anubis flips your monsters to defense mode. If they're effect monsters, that is. Now, I draw. Huh. Armed dragon, huh? 
Uh, well, I'll summon Twin Headed Behemoth again, because I can. And I'll attack that center card. Because hopefully, okay, it's, it's a Guardian statue, so I can beat it and you take 100 damage. Bounce decks are annoying as all hell. Especially when it comes to stuff like Golem Sentry. It's really annoying. As you can see, this uh, this Invincible Fortress deck, clearly a, a bounce deck combined with a bunch of annoying high defense monsters. Including its ace, of course. You just got rid of... Oh, you jerk. Well, I draw. Hmm. What can I do? I'll activate Premature Burial. I pay uh, 800 life points to bring to the field Mask Dragon in attack mode. Then I will normal summon Twin Headed Behemoth in attack mode. And I will. <laughs> I will activate Stamping Destruction. Stamping Destruction destroys any spell card that I want. I'll destroy your Robin Goblin. You have missed Mystical Space Typhoon. Well, that's annoying. God damn you. That's destroyed my Mask Dragon. Oh well. That's a pain. It doesn't matter too much though. I can still work around it. Okay, Twin-Headed Behemoth, attack that face-down monster, which is a Golem Sentry, and so I'm taking damage. But, it is it wasn't flipped up by him, so its effect isn't activated. Now, I can activate Snatch Steel, allowing me to take control of it. I don't want that thing on your field anymore, it's annoying. I'll activate its special ability to flip itself face-down. And the Snatch Steel is off the field. As a result, uh, you don't get any life points for uh, for me owning this card, despite the fact that I still own it. It's nice. <laughs> also, you can't get it back by destroying the snatch, snatch Steel, because I just destroyed it. Draw! Um, Golem Sentry, return one monster and opponent's out of the field. Good. That means I can flip it and... Uh, not have to send my monster back to my hand. I will attack you directly with both of the monsters I have. <laughs> my audio is a bit low. Not my my uh the uh, the game audio is pretty low for me for some reason. I think I turned my headphones volume down for some reason. Doesn't bother me that much. So, um. Yeah, I, I haven't really shown off much of what the uh, the Dragon's Roar deck is supposed to do in this duel, because I haven't really got very many dragons so far. I've got... <laughs> like, I, I, I drew... Th I've drew drawn three dragons so far. Draw. I don't need these two cards. I'll activate Reload, allowing me to return my hand to my deck, and... I'm perfectly okay to discard my normal to cross out to allow me to return my one card to my deck and redraw. Now I have a mystical space typhoon, which I will use to destroy your face down card, which is a compulsory evacuation device. Doesn't bother me because I can still summon. You should probably have sent uh, have sent this golem sentry back. To be honest, I summon twin headed behemoth. Behemoth will attack that face down monster of yours. Stone statue. God damn it. Stone, ta stone statue of the Aztecs doubles any damage that it. Uh, it, it doubles any battle damage that was dealt to the opponent when the monster's in defense mode. But I can take advantage of this golem sentry to force it back to his hand when I, uh, when I can. Mm -hmm. Or anything he tributes it, f it tributes it for as well. <laughs> Doesn't he have anything? No, no monsters. No. Okay, fine, sure. I'm okay with this. Draw. 
Creature swap is useless to me at this point. Golem Sentry in attack mode. Golem Sentry forces your monster into into your hand. Then I can hit you in the face twice more. It'll be fun. <laughs> Ordeal of a Traveler. Um, I guess it's probably not. A, well, I know there is a monster card in there. I'm guessing it's a spell card. That's the monster. God damn it. Okay, he gets his Golem Sentry back. Uh, now he has two monsters in there. I'm guessing it's a monster. It's not a monster, it's brain control. God damn it. <laughs> I'll summon Twin Headed Behemoth again, because I can. Basically. And in my turn. <laughs> okay, now that I know he has two monsters. Okay, this is gonna be annoying. He's just taking control of my monster. Is that permanent control or just for one turn? I hope it's just for one turn, because uh, that would be annoying. <laughs> oh, he's tributed it. You jerk. Okay, draw. Arm dragon. I needed a monster for that. God damn it! I can't do anything in this turn. I can't do anything this turn. I need a monster so I can either take control of his monster or at the very least um, tribute it for something that can destroy his monsters. But I think it's going to be take control of his monster and then tribute it. Draw. That's a start. That's a start. Swords of Revealing Light. Guardian Sphinx, Stone Statue. Guardian Sphinx... Um, Guardian Sphinx's special ability was wasted because it wasn't faced because it was f wasn't flip summoned and also there aren't any monsters on the field. I end my turn. Wouldn't it be amusing if he tributed that and then uh, if, if he tributed that Guardian Sphinx and then I and then I took control of his his ace and tributed it. That would be amusing, I think. Just in my opinion. Draw. Matter transporter. Ugh. I can't do anything with that. I end my turn. I have one more turn, basically. Well, no, actually. This deck is... The, the, the uh, Fortress deck is not one to to destroy me via um, actual battle damage, for the most part. But, yeah. Draw. Element Dragon. It's not great. But it's something. Element Dragon in attack mode. I know exactly what I want to do with this. Creature swap. I'll surrender control of my Element Dragon. I will take your great spirit. Which doesn't help me much. But oh well. I end my turn. I may very well have just given him uh, the tools to defeat me right now. Yeah, yeah, especially with the Golden Century. It forces that back to his hand, not mine. I just derped. Oops. I didn't think far enough ahead. Oh, he has a Swords of Revealing Light as well. I, d I didn't think very far ahead with that, unfortunately. Oh well. And now my swords are gone as well. God damn it. Okay, I draw. Graveyard in a different dimension. I don't have two level monsters from my graveyard, so I can't use that. Why can't I use anything I draw? This deck has awful synergy. Or maybe I'm just not playing it properly. That could very well be it as well. God damn it, I'm awful at this. <laughs> Great Spirit switches. Um, Stone Statues attack to 2000. Yeah, I can't. I, I just lost this. Shit. Ugh. Ow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like I need to brush up on my dragon deck strategy. Or maybe, you know, I could just get a better hand this time. Next time. Oh, well. I guess I'll, uh... Oh, there's an item. Not quite yet. Just a sec. I've got an item. Item! Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. 300 DP. That is, like, like, awful. It's not as bad as the 150, 
but it's still only like one duel's worth of DP. Ugh. I guess I'll cut the video here. I'll see you guys next time when we continue dueling, f dueling with Nico for structure decks, or possibly go back to Blister. And we might we might come back to the structure deck stuff a bit later uh, because it's probably going to be quite boring to just watch like continuous duels back to back of these uh, structure decks that aren't really that that aren't I don't know it'd be variety I guess anyway I'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody.